And welcome back to the Fraser Valley in British Columbia. This is Hilly Farms, and this is episode seven of this Fraser Valley series. This is a Farming Simulator 22 playthrough that I'm doing on a map that I built myself and released um, a couple of months ago, back in August, and it's available for everyone to play over on itch.io. Um, today is March, the fourth week of March, and uh, last time I spoke to you it was the second week of March, so we've skipped over a whole day. I just spent that um, doing a bunch of contracts and saving up a bunch more money, which I've gone and spent again, and I can show you what I spent that on right now. Firstly, I did a little bit of landscaping here because we needed, we couldn't just have grass right around our new hops, and second is I extended the crops. Um, extended the hops um, a little bit more than you saw last. I think we only had three rows here last time and finishing off those big contracts gave us enough money to uh, finish off the bit of land that I ploughed up here and although I did have a little bit more money to I possibly could have planted some more rows um, I think this is going to be enough for the first year at least and um, maybe we'll do an, another block of rows just over here um, for next year, um, obviously depending on how this harvest goes. Um, so yeah, here we are. We also, um, possibly should have mentioned this already, but um, we've got a cultivator here and that's going to be our first job of the day, is cultivating our new um, hops, loosening up the soil in between the vines, which would be pretty cool. Um, we've also got over on field 127, which is the um, a field that we sowed with sugar beets, I think, or maybe it was um, barley, I'm not sure. Um, it uh, is being fertilised as we speak, and this is quite a good contract, although the fertiliser is going to cost a bit. Um, so we've got them busy here, and over on the big fence, the vario. I've sent them down here to field 9 which is near the big chicken farm and we're just going to get him all set up right now before we go and look at the contract uh, look at the cultivating I think we'll do three headlands for this one as well and that looks pretty good. Okay, you're all set up and you're going to need some seeds soon. Actually I better double check this is a, sh yeah, this is a sugar beets contract um, because there are no others at the moment so just double checking we got sugar beets um, and we're definitely going to need some seeds soon too. And here we go, we've got the seeds ready for the front vario and we'll just send, by the time he gets there, that tractor will probably be ready for seeds. Um, yeah, so that's what we're up to. More contracts, make, trying to make some more money. And um, in this episode, we're going to get these hops all uh, set up and happy for the season. They're going to need this uh, cultivating and um, when I've done this, we'll also do uh, some fertilizing, um, which means we're gonna have to work out how to fertilize these, because <laughs> I don't have a spreader, um, but I'm sure we'll work that out, no problem. I was also a little bit uh, interested to see whether the Massey would fit up the rows of uh, hops here with the wide tires on, but it um, looks like we're fine. Um, just uh, about a month ago, a couple of weeks ago, um, the Vid Hostess team released an update to the hops pack and now um, we can use a John Deere and a New Holland and a um, narrow fent tractor uh, as the tractors uh, that are options um, to harvest these hops, 
Um, previously, it was only a Zetor tractor that had the fitting or had the correct attachment on it to carry the hops harvester. Um, so it's awesome to see that um, uh, see that up update. Um, I don't have anything against Zetor, but um, it's not really a Canadian brand that I know of. So um, yeah, it'll be good to get one of the others. I'm looking at either the JD or the New Holland. I'm not sure which yet. But, um, we've got until August, I guess, to decide. And um, I was actually over in the shop uh, earlier. I can jump in there for a sec now. And um, oh, there was a Massey in here before that I really liked, really liked the look of. Um, and that uh, JCB would be cool too. I, I quite like the fast track. And um, one of my Facebook photos from a long time ago when I was building this map uh, is of a Google, a Google Street View image um, of a JCB fast track driving down Low Heat Highway with um, a um, slurry tank on the back. So, yeah, that sort of made me think I might as well eventually work towards a JCB fast track. Um, but that said, there was also a, um, a Massey 7 Series in there for $63,000 or something ludicrously cheap. Um, it'd be nice to have a little bit more money at the moment, but um, that's all good. Um, I've still got it on. I'm normally having this playthrough on 10 minutes, but I do slow it down every now and then when I forget to do things. And um, this morning, even though it's almost lunchtime now, uh, we were out and about early this morning, but we couldn't do anything because it was raining. Um, I think technically you can still spray and uh, and cultivate and stuff in the rain, but I just don't do it because uh, that's just the way I play. Um, and it was only raining this morning until about 10 or 11, so it's not like it's eating up the whole day. Not like in real life where it pretty much starts raining in October and doesn't stop. <laughs> in this part of the world at least. So this is going pretty easily. Um, I've also got the fence. I can probably do it just now. Got the... Um, actually I won't do it now. Got the smaller fence waiting for us at the shop because it's going to pick up something that um, is going to help us do the spreading and um, I might as well get that organized now because we're going to be finished here in no time. This is a much quicker job than I thought. I guess there wasn't that much to do. Okay, we'll just have a quick break here, jump over to the fence. Okay, what I was going to do here is grab a spreader and I already found one that suits us. This one here, it does both lime and fertilizer, which is handy. And, um, oh, we don't have enough. Oh wow, $75 short. So we'll go back to the cheaper rims. There we go, that's pretty funny. And now I just hope we've got enough... Um, <laughs> now we don't have enough money for um, uh, lime or fertilizer, so... <laughs> um, I didn't plan that very well. That's alright, we've got a couple of quick contracts going that um, we'll be able to cash in. And that reminds me that the Fent Burrow is probably sitting down there right now without any seeds in it. So let's leave this one here jump over to the Fent Vario and sure enough it's out of seeds but that's why we sent this truck here. So what I think I'm going to do now is fill this guy up with seeds, head back to the hops farm and finish off the cultivating there and then when this contract's finished buy some lime and fertilizer 
and um, I will meet you back up at the hops farm when I've done that. Okay, we're back a little bit earlier than I anticipated because I just remembered there was uh, a reason why we were out of money and that's because I hadn't um, closed off this uh, contract field 95 which is the sewing contract we didn't we did um, uh, we started doing yesterday and finished off this morning so we'll collect that now and we've actually got some money to buy what we need um, we need some fertilizer I think we just need one although let's get another two and we'll use them for contracts because there's quite a few contracts out there at the moment uh, for fertilizing and we'll need one bag of lime okay now with these we've got what we need for the hops and um, we'll be able to do some some of the smaller um, smaller fields uh, fertilizing jobs will suit this spreader quite well. Nice small cheap one. Um, I'll roll clay that we found this when I was um, I probably don't even need that in there yet. We'll send this up the way it is because we only need a little bit of fertilizer in there. We're also going to need the lime and we'll be able to empty it out when we get up there. Yeah, this um, tractor will do really well. At, um, uh, this spreader will do really well with this tractor. I'll send you up to the hops farm and we'll put the rest on the back of this truck along with some more seeds, I think. Might have trouble fitting all this on. Okay, after a little bit of faffing around, <laughs> I've worked out what we needed and what's actually going to fit on this truck. Um, we'll leave the leave some of the fertilizer. Well, we'll leave the fertilizer here, and um, we'll take the lime up to the hops farm, and the seeds are on the back to go to field nine, which I think that the Fentvario is actually going to need again. Um, we'll check that in a sec. Send this one up to the um, mountain farm as well first and just check how the Vario is going. Um, yeah, it's probably going to need some seeds soon, but uh, we'll take the lime up to the hops farm first and the fertilizer should be there soon. Where are you? There we go, we're on the way up. And while I was working out <laughs> that I still had some money in the bank that I wasn't aware of uh, with that contract, I did come and finish off the uh, cultivating here. Um, but as you can see down in the precision farming screen, um, we need to sort out the pH and the nitrogen. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. So today as I play this game, it is uh, Halloween, um, October 31st, and um, that means that we are 12 sleeps away from FS25 being released. Uh, I've got my uh, collector's edition on the way, I hope. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be here on time. Um, 
I can't remember if I get a digital, if you get a digital, you probably get a digital pass um, as well as a physical thing, but um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So I have been intentionally not watching any of the content that's coming out um, from, you know, DJ or um, Farm Sim Guy or Argzy or anyone. Um, not that, uh, like I've, you know, used, I've seen a few clips here and there, but I like to save all the features up and get to know it all in one go instead of, you know, being strung along for six months. <laughs> um, I've only been through one cycle upgrade. I started playing in FS19, so when FS22 came out, the way things happened was, um, you know, the, with the slow release and speculation and all that, um, I was following every minute and you end up getting a little bit disappointed because it's such a long build up <laughs> and you go, oh, I hope it's going to have this, hope it's going to have that. And uh, I find that it's just easier to wait until it's all here and not get too excited before it's released. But that said, I think what has been announced, the ground deformation and the season, like the, the weather system, um, those are two things that are super important and um, I'm really happy about. So let's um, work out how this works. Okay, it took me a minute to work out what was going on there. <laughs> I was going, wait, why aren't you uh, spreading? Is there something wrong with the hops? Have I, is there something wrong with my map? <laughs> That's what I always do whenever something strange happens. I have a minor freak out thinking, wait a minute, have I released a map with a big, big bug in it? But it uh, turns out in this case, the bug was just that I've got to lower the, <laughs> I've got to lower the spreader. <laughs> and yeah, so now we're spreading can see down in there on the map we've got some green going which is good so yeah with the uh, FS25 just around the corner um, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen with this series I know that uh, when FS22 came out I kept playing FS19 for a good couple of months because uh, there weren't the mods and things that I wanted that, you know, the way I normally play, uh, as you can tell by watching this series, I guess, um, I use a lot of course play, a lot of auto drive, and, uh, it takes from memory a couple of months for, um, you know, those teams to upgrade everything that needs upgrading and get them back on the mod hub. Um, that will give me time to this, this time round, <laughs> that'll give me time to work out what I need to do to convert this map. Um, I've started uh, some planning for that but uh, really just tidying up the tidying up this version of the map a little bit. There's not really much I can do at this point. Um, I'm hoping that it's just going to be um, what's the word like uh, reorganizing the placeables essentially. Um, I'm hoping that the main sort of mechanics of the game, um, all the GDMs and um, crop uh, crop uh, images, things like that, um, hopefully that's going to be cut and paste, um, but we'll see, like I said I haven't done this before, um, we're just going to empty the, the fertilizer out, and go and find where the truck is, Oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> I've noticed this a little bit with the um, Auto Drive guy's course. Um, sometimes he'll the, the, the vehicle will be sent to a closed gate, which reminds me I might as well just open that gate because it's going to happen again. It's obviously the way Auto Drive works, um, and the Auto Drive guy. Um, uses some things in, of, on the courses that I don't use very often. So um, an example of that would be this: these gold courses that you can do, which I think are like secondary roads. Um, 
I've never seen them before, so <laughs> I don't even know how to put them on the on the on the map. But uh, um, that's all good. We should be watching our cars, even though they're on auto drive. I guess we're out of uh, fertilizer here. This is what the other trucks here for. And it's nice and close, which is convenient. I, um, I'm not going to lie, I've been, I, I probably wouldn't have released the map <laughs> if uh, I had realized how um, much people stop playing uh, before um, uh, before a new map is released. Uh, we've, I've had a lot of downloads, there's been I think close to 5,000 downloads in total. Uh, on itch.io which is really cool and um, I'm stoked that people are playing it and enjoying it um, but you know when you spend as much time on a map as what I have um, here uh, you know you kind of want to create a little bit of a bigger buzz um, than what it has the sort of two things going on with that one is that you know we're just close to FS25 and people are worn out with FS22 I guess there's been a lot of content created and there's a lot of content out there already and people are people know how it works and know what's going on with it um, and the other thing is this is a 4x map and in FS22 because you can't play 4x maps on um, console there's just not as much interest um, and uh, I've sort of found that to suck a bit actually. I, I was hoping that um, when this map was released it would have a bit of a buzz but um, the other thing is the frame rate and that is my fault 100%. I, um, you know, I understand that uh, you know frame rate's important, not everyone has a great big computer. Whoa, there's been a car crash. <laughs> got super strength yep okay drive more carefully next time please <laughs> yes yeah, so I think like I'm saying um, I would have hoped there'd been a little bit more buzz about this map but um, the combination of being very close to FS25 um, the frame rate issue which I'll be able to fix up for the next version um, and um, yeah and the 4x thing um, whatever the, the main reason I, I built this map well, there, there isn't one main reason why I built this map to start with I was just building it because I wanted to learn how it all worked and then part way through it I realized just a minute this could be a really good map so I should try and do this properly um, and then I sort of didn't realize how long that would take it took like more than a year longer than I thought it was going to and by the time it was released um, it was only a couple of months ago and FS25 is pretty much finished so I mean FS22 is pretty much fin finished so um, that's sort of the downside the upside I, I, is that I've had a chance to practice <laughs> releasing it um, I, obviously not releasing it on mod hub saves a uh, fair bit of work um, I'm pretty sure I would have been up to like it this map was passing all of its um, uh, all of the Giants tests that it needed to so um, I'm pretty sure I could have got it on mod hub but uh, it would have been a, a bit more work anyway enough talking about maps let's bring the lime over here and get some lime on these hops regarding the series though uh, I think I'll just keep playing until I'm bored of uh, <laughs> playing on this map um, and I don't have time uh, to do it hopefully because I'm converting um, converting this to FS25 but yeah I'll just keep um, 
keep playing until until then. It'd, it'd be good to get at least till uh, we get a, a harvest of um, hops. That's uh, sort of the whole purpose of um, purpose of this let's play. So we might as well get at least to get to that point. this uh, lime texture here it's, um, it's the darker color lime slightly more brown looking than the in-game lime would have uh, would have liked to do this before doing the cultivating in fact I probably should have done it before doing the cultivating but uh, let's just role play that we needed to break up this soil a little bit more and that this is slow release <laughs> fertilizer or something <laughs> Maybe I should, when we're um, putting down some more hops vines, I might put, uh, I think, two more down in this in this little block of vines because that way we would make the most of all of our fertilizer and all of our lime. <laughs> so if we put down one. Actually, no, it's clear on that side, so for the lime it works well, the fertilizer is a little bit too wide. Okay, there we go. We're all done. I'm going to let's um, just check and see how that looks in the map. Jump over to precision farming. We've got silty clay, 100%, and our pH is looking perfect, and our nitrogen is looking perfect. So that's our hops taken care of for for the season. Um, I'll come back up here soon and make sure that they're growing. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Make this a nice, easy, concise one, and um, we've done what we need to do. We are just making this up on the fly, but um, we've got our field down at home and we can, if we're gonna do root crops again, and we can start doing that tomorrow um, or next week, game time. And that field has been plowed, but um, still needs to be looked after with everything else. So I'm gonna pack up here and head home for the night actually it's a already good time to knock off early day so thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in the map check it out on hellyfarms.itch.io and um, if you'd like to chat about the map uh, there'll be a link in the description for discord and you can jump over there and comment away thanks for watching happy farming <laughs>